Hey there, Jake from Gravity PDF here. Today I'm going to show you a brand new add-on we've developed for Gravity View called PDF for Gravity View. What this does, it'll automatically generate a PDF of the single entry layout for any view you've got created. Uh, and it can be used with Gravity View's conditional logic uh, and they've got quite advanced conditional logic features for their fields. Uh, it can be used with their charting add-on, with their maths add-on, um, any of their view types, whether it be list, table, data table, uh, or map views, uh, and it is very customizable. So let's go and have a look, see what's under the hood. We'll start off with uh, the list view, quite a common one, and this is going to take us to the multi-entry um, view at the moment, which shows all the various um, entries available. So we'll go through and have a look at the details of one of these. And this is known as the single entry layout. So we're going to uh, convert this to a PDF um, and include a uh, PDF download link in uh, the view layout. And we'll add some things like uh, a header with a logo in it. So we'll go up to the menu bar here and we're going to hit edit view. The plugin is fully integrated into uh, Gravity View, so you'll be able to control all the PDF uh, design and layout uh, through the view editor here. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is head down to the single entry PDF setting, and we'll give it a, a file name. So this is a business directory, um, but there's business names. So we're going to give it um, uh, the file name of the business name that we're viewing and we'll change the paper size to letter um, for our American friends and I'll change the margins from millimeters to inches. Uh, oh, one inch. Uh, and we'll just bump up the font size a little bit. Uh, so down here we can add their header and footer uh, and change the background color or image if we'd like. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add my uh, logo in the header and we'll center align that. Uh, I'm going to add the full size version um, and then just shrink it down. It's actually going to look quite big in the PDF um, using the full size version. But when I uh, adjust the sizing like this, uh, we'll get a high quality version um, in the PDF uh, center line that looks great. And then down the bottom, uh, we can pop in um, some copyright information uh, if we want or, or additional information at the website. Um, right align that um, and I'll leave that rest of those settings as is for now um, we'll come back up to the view section so we actually need to be able to download that PDF so over here uh, in the right footer I'm going to add the download link so uh, link to single entry PDF is the one we want and that's going to add it to our list. Might add it above the um, edit entry link. And then we'll go edit here and um, have a look at what settings we've got. So um, we might change this to download as PDF. And um, we've got the option to either let the PDF open in the browser window or force it to be downloaded to the computer. Uh, I'm going to leave that untick for now, but I will open the PDF in a new tab or window. Um, and I'm going to turn off the label and we won't add any restrictions to who can view the PDF. Um, we could make it only visible for logged in users or add some conditional logic. It's quite advanced conditional logic here with some uh, and and or uh, logic. But for now we'll um, We'll leave it as is. 
and just close that. Then we'll update the view and go back to uh, the business directory on the front end. And we'll take a look and see how we went. Uh, so we were looking at one of these ones here. I don't think this is the, the same one, but it's close enough. So we have uh, <coughs> our uh, single entry layout here. And you can see down the bottom here, we now have a download as PDF button. And when I click it, we are going to get uh, a PDF version of our item. Now you can see spacing is a little off around the logo. So we might go back in and tweak that in a minute. Um, the, um, the view title is included by default, but we could turn this off if we wanted and just have, uh, have this section here. Now the links are clickable, so we can go to that website address or that email. Um, we can send an email to the email here. Um, and we've got the address on the, the left hand side uh, and the image here, just like on the front end. So image on the left, content on the right, address on the left in the little footer area and then all the contact info down the bottom. Now what you might notice is uh, the that edit entry link actually wasn't included in the um, in the PDF output, and that's intentional. Um, that's a what I like to call a gravity view action. Um, since PDFs are static documents, uh, any action type field um, has been removed, like uh, like the view. Um, the view detailed entry link or uh, the delete entry link, those sort of things are removed from the PDF automatically. Um, so let's do a little bit of tidying up, a little bit of redesigning here. Uh, I'll head back to uh, the view settings and I'm gonna make that image a little smaller in the header. And we might actually make that left aligned again, make it a little smaller here and I'm going to uh, add a bit more space after it. Let's see, did I do that? No, wrong side. I'm just toggling between the visual and the text tab here. So I'll add that space in after it and we'll make that left aligned as well. Uh, I'm going to turn off that title and I'll just add a nice little, um, little background color. The, um, the pastels seem really popular in, uh, in web design at the moment. So I might go a soft little pastel color. Let's see. I do like the blue. Okay, and you know I wasn't happy with that font, so I'm going to select one of the other defaults. Uh, we can also go into the PDF settings and go to the font manager and install custom fonts, and then those custom fonts can be selected here. And uh, but I will just bump down the um, uh, the margins a little bit because um, they're a little bit the left and right were a little bit big. Could probably adjust the top margin. I wouldn't have to add that spacing um, below the logo, but like everything, there's multiple ways to do things. So um, we'll give that a try and we'll see how it looks. Uh, so like Gravity PDF Core, these PDFs are generated on demand. So I can just hit the refresh button with the existing link I had open and it'll auto update to include um, the new settings that we've selected. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, so that gray is part of the uh, list design, um, which is why the color hasn't changed there. 
Um, we've got different font now. You can see there's a bit more space between the logo and the top section and um, we've got pretty decent margins here. And the blue's a little bright so we could go and adjust that down if you want. We might decide, you know what, I don't want blue and I want to make the logo smaller. Um, I want a nice little pink and we'll make that really soft. And then we might want to add a little um, background image, maybe, uh, you know, that, that's probably not going to be big enough. They're pretty small images, they're just part of the, is this 500, you know what, Zach, this is Zach, he's the uh, Gravity Kit founder, um, he's in our, this is the demo site from Gravity Kit, so. We'll select Zach. He's going to be our, our background image today. <laughs> Sorry, Zach. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. And we'll refresh this now. Oh, that's a lot of Zach. <laughs> um, so uh, that background image that we used, um, the dimensions didn't match the paper size. So the software's automatically filled that or repeated that background uh, multiple times. Um, let's head back here. We'll do a bit more playing. Um, you know what, my background didn't seem, was that a pink? No, it's still a blue. Let's, oh, you know what? It's a blue from um, the the background image. Yeah, um, it's not a it's not a PNG, so there's no transparency. So it's taken the the um, the blue from the background image rather than um, from our background setting. Well, let's just uh, set it as this little small aeroplane. That'll just repeat, and I can adjust this back to make it that soft again. Okay. There we go. Um, now if we wanted, if we didn't want that image to repeat, uh, what we recommend is creating a image the exact dimensions of the paper that you're using. So if it's letter, um, use the, the letter sizing, which is uh, uh, in inches seven and a half by nine inches or 11 inches or something like that. Uh, okay. Um, but we can see that doesn't really look that great here. So we're going to get rid of that background. Um, but there are a couple of the options there. Um, you've got lots of settings to control the, the look and design. Um, and so this is all automatic. I can head back to um, the directory and I can select a different um, listing here, Harbour House. And We've got different address, different image, titles, and contact details. And when I hit the download button, I'm getting uh, all that information specifically for that entry, um, which is very cool. Um, so people can get a copy of this. Now, you might have an instance where you want to allow people to share this PDF with others. We actually have a really handy field for that um, called the share a PDF um, field. So I'm gonna add it, we'll just add it here in business description. And hit the settings here. So we can control uh, a bunch of the messaging and the labels. Um, Uh, 
I'll leave a lot of the defaults here. Uh, I'll just change the subject because I've got some filters in my mailbox that should pick this up automatically. Um, and we'll close this. And now when we go back to our page and hit refresh, we should get that new field. So it's actually in the list view. It's um, It's got the label and description here and the email has been pushed down here. That's just a CSS thing. It's probably because of this theme. Um, what I might do is I'm not happy with it there, so I will move it to uh, under address in the footer. And we'll have another look. There we go. Yeah. So if you're not happy with the styles, uh, again, it's theme sp specific. Um, it's actually this field uses gravity forms to uh, output this container here. Uh, so any of the CSS uh, used by gravity forms um, can be applied. So for example, the label, we might want to add some CSS to the page that makes that bold. And, um, and now you've got a, a bold label and we can make that permanent by um, injecting that on the page, either by editing the, the theme or uh, if you're using an older WordPress theme, you can use the customizer to add the CSS um, to the page that way. Um, but it's all, it's all customizable and all stylable, exactly like uh, Gravity View is. So I will uh, enter my email here, hit share, and then uh, that confirmation message is going to be shown here. And then when I head to my inbox, there it is. Uh, I've got the email, um, and I have that copy directly in my inbox. Um, if you're worried about spam, so as I mentioned before, the form actually uses gravity forms. Um, the honeypot feature is enabled by default. If you have uh, one of the um, the captures, the Google recapture enabled that, that applies automatically to your site, uh, the form will use uh, that for um, spam detection. Uh, if you're using uh, Akismet, uh, I think it is, um, uh, that will also apply uh, and do the spam check, uh, protection checks as well. Um, so a few few options there um, to help with the, the spam issue. Um, okay, so that was uh, a list field. Uh, it also works with uh, the other view types like table uh, and data table. So these uh, table and data table, basically the same layout. Um, data table just has a different multi, um, multi entry view. So let's have a look at, uh, we'll do survey here. Okay, uh, so this is the, the multi entry layout here uh, in that nice table. And then when you go and view the individual ones, you get a, this two column layout here. Um, with the, the label on the left and the content on the right. Um, on your website, this might look a little different. Uh, you might not have the borders around it. Uh, so out of the box, Gravity View doesn't include any borders on this table here and it takes it or inherits it from your WordPress theme. So um, depending on the theme, there may be borders uh, here or there might not be. Um, and we'll do the same process as before. We'll edit the view and we'll go ahead and add a PDF download link here. And we'll just add the shared link while we're at it. Um, let's keep all the defaults. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go with all the defaults there so you can see what the defaults look like. 
we'll head over back to one of these responses. Okay, so this is, have a good look at the output here. Got the five star rating. Um, got a like it table here. Um, they sort of strongly agree. Um, got a list here. And you can see we've got our PDF label here and just the default view PDF and then our share this listing. Um, you can see out of the box this looks much nicer than um, it did over in the, the list uh, layout. Um, but again, it's going to be theme specific. So we'll head, and have, uh, head over and have a look at this PDF. Um, so I mentioned before that depending on your theme, a border will either show or not show. Um, because Gravity View doesn't have a border on that table by default, we've opted to exact, exactly replicate uh, that design here, which is why the PDF doesn't have a border. Um, we are going to add the ability to update the CSS um, for these PDFs so you can easily add a border if you want in a later release. But for now, um, this is the, the default layout. Um, you can see the star ratings, we made them a bit bigger, um, so you can see them uh, better. And then we've got all the, the questions here. Now, I'm going to head back. Um, say we don't want a field in the PDF, like we might not want this like a table. Uh, another feature of the plugin is we can go and edit uh, the single entry layout. And we'll find our like it table. Uh, I forgot actually what it was called. Acme products fulfill all my form needs. Okay, so that's this one here. And if I hit the gear ratio here, um, we've got some new visibility settings here. Exclude from the PDF or only include in the PDF. And I'll show you um, this option um, in the DIY layout will make use of that there. But for now, I'll just use the exclude from PDF option. That will mean that this field will display in the view, but it won't get displayed in the PDF. And so if I refresh the page now, we're still going to get it showing in the view here. Uh, but when we go and view this PDF, uh, that Likert table is no longer present. Um, and that's a really useful feature uh, to get rid of info that you don't want. So you can you can um, basically use it like a bit of a, a PDF builder in the view here, um, which is especially useful when uh, when you combine it with the only include in PDF option because um, you can add fields or uh, custom content. Um, specifically for the PDF. Uh, so we might want to uh, add some content uh, here that will only get displayed in the PDF. Um, like we can add one of these questions here. Or, uh, and we put today's date month, day, year. And we will only include this in the PDF. And when we hit update now uh, and refresh the view, that custom content uh, isn't going to be shown on the page here. Um, but when we refresh the PDF, we can see that it has been included. Now the, the label on that field's also there um, and we can go back and hit edit and disable the show label option. Hit update and then refresh the page and you've got yourself some PDF only content uh, from the view. There we go. Uh, and we've used merge tags there. 
So merge tags, any any merge tags or shortcodes that Gravity View supports is also supported here. Um, for example, say you wanted to use uh, Gravity Chart, which is another another Gravity uh, Kit extension or plugin. Um, you can use that uh, with their their shortcode and the image embed option, uh, and that will display uh, the the chart uh, in the PDF here. Um, while while I'm in here, I'll uh, I'll show you how that that works because uh, they've got a few on this demo site, a few uh, Gravity View charts here. Uh, I'll just see if I can find the right form. Uh, here we go. Have a preview of that chart. It looks. Let's see. It's a polar. Polar chart. Okay. So I'm going to copy the short code. I can't just copy and paste it direct. There is some modifications required. I think I need to put the entry ID and the type. Or it might be embed. I have to look up the docs to be certain, but I'm going to take a wild guess here. And because this is for a different form, I have to pass in uh, an ID number. So I'm going to put this one here. All right, I'm going to take a wild swing at that and we'll just see if it works. If not, I'll do a quick look up in the Gravity Kit documentation. Okay, that didn't work. It was a long shot, but kit uh, documentation. It only takes a second anyway. They have very good knowledge base. It's well organized. So, Gravity Chart. And then... I'm going to go to the short code here. Like embed type was what I was after. And entry for the ID. I'm not sure if the entry is needed, but uh, it's in there already anyway. That was pretty close. Embed underscore type, not just embed. Okay, let's update that now. And we'll see if we can get a chart displaying. There we go. Okay, I think because I passed the entry ID, it's just taking the info from one um, from one single entry instead of the entire form. So if I go and remove this now, hopefully, that will display uh, the results for all entries in that form. Yeah, there we go. So we've just included uh, the chart uh, in the PDF as well. Uh, and that won't get displayed in the view because we've used the, uh, we've used the visibility setting only including the PDF. This is actually really useful for the charts because uh, you need to use the image embed type for it to display in the PDF. But uh, on your website, uh, you want the nice interactive charts which, uh, which uses JavaScript. Uh, so we can add a second custom content type here. Uh, this one using the standard view uh, and we'll exclude it from the PDF. So when I view the view on the on the front end here, uh, we'll have that interactive JavaScript based chart down here. So I can hover over and it's given me the um, the numbers and the, the key. 
uh, but we're not getting the image chart. Um, that's the, the interactive one. But when we view the PDF, we'll get the image chart, um, which will display in the PDF. So uh, that's another use for, for those visibility options. Uh, and the last thing I think we'll have a look at before I finish up, because I know this video is getting long, uh, is the DIY layout. So this one has basic support. Um, the DIY layout basically allows you to build really custom view layouts. Um, you can change H HTML markup, you can inject your own CSS styles, um, and that makes it really difficult uh, for Gravity PDF to actually generate a PDF that's going to accurately represent that layout by default. So by using the field visibility settings, we can hide uh, the, the web view um, fields and add fields specifically for the PDF that will uh, make them display better. So what I mean by that is if we edit this view here and I'll add the PDF uh, link to um, our layout here. Oh, it disappeared on me. Come back now, so there we are. Okay. So I'll add this to our layout and then when I head back to it, and have a look at that PDF now, it's not going to look exactly the same as this. So what's happening on this first page? Got a big blank, we've got the title, and then big white space because that image is really, really big, and that image takes up the whole second page because it doesn't fit on the first page with that title. Uh, then we've got genre, label, and then it's getting cut off here, um, pushed to the, a third page. So not ideal um, out of the box there for the DIY layout. But with a little bit of work, we can fix that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the visibility settings here and exclude uh, all these from uh, the PDF. And then we'll add a new custom content field. Uh, so if I Add the custom content field and uh, to speed things up a little bit, I'm going to paste in some HTML I wrote earlier. Uh, it's If you're a developer, it should be pretty simple. We've used some inline CSS styles here uh, to basically create some columns in the PDF. Uh, so one column will, will make the width 30% uh, and that'll be the movie poster image. Uh, and then in the other column, uh, which we're given a width of 65% and we're floated to the right-hand side, uh, we've got the labels um, and the merge tag, which will output the value for each of the fields. Uh, and down in rating, um, to match the, the web view, we've, we've used uh, an anchor tag to make uh, the rating a link, which will link through to the IMDB page. Uh, and for visibility, I'm going to exclude uh, this from the view, so it'll only get displayed in the PDF. And now when I update uh, the view, and we head back, and click the view PDF link, uh, we're going to get a PDF that looks significantly better than what it did out of the box. And that's the first look at PDF for Gravity View. For more information or to purchase the product, head to gravitypdf.com. Navigate to the online store.